Hi, in this video we're going to show you a way you could add a custom shutdown menu to your right-click context menu for your desktop in Windows. So normally to shut down, you know, obviously you have to go to start and shut down, or you could even do Alt F4 and shut down from there and so on. So we're going to add a custom menu. So when you right-click, you'll have some additional options for shutting down. Okay, so to do so, we're going to have to do a little registry modification. So we have a couple registry files here. Uh, one to add the menu and one to remove it. So I'll show you what they do here. So here's the add menu registry file here. So it pretty much makes this key here. And then it'll start making some sub keys and adding some other values to it. And then if you want to remove it, it just simply removes that whole key and everything underneath it. Okay, so we're going to start by double clicking the add shutdown menu registry file. Click on run. Say yes to the UAC prompt then say yes to adding it to the registry and then okay so now when you right click of course for windows 11 you have to go to show more options unless you hold down shift or if you use one of the many methods to enable the classic right click menu so we have some videos on that which i'll put in the description so now you have this power option here so you have several options here force apps to close and shut down the pc with no timeout warning shut down pc with warning Turn off PC with no timeout warning, but prompt to save on any unused work. Shut down PC and prepares it for a fast startup. Force apps to close, shut down PC, and then prepares it for fast startup. Shut down PC on next boot, restart any opened registered apps, and then slide to shut down. So obviously you have to have a touch screen for that. Okay, so we're gonna try out this one here, the shutdown, then on next boot, restart any opened registered apps. So we have Edge, Paint, Firefox, Notepad, and Chrome open. So we're gonna go ahead and do that option here. So this is gonna shut it down, not restart it. So then when this is done, we'll start it up and we'll be right back. Okay, so we're rebooting. So then once we're on the desktop, we're gonna to have to just wait a minute for those apps to open themselves. It's not instant, so your results may vary, so we'll see how long it takes. Okay, so it's 6.02 now, so we'll see what time it is when they start up here. So I'm not going to touch anything. I'm just going to wait and see how long it takes for them to open. So this might not be ideal if you want to open them instantly, but if it's something where you turn on your computer and log in and then go get your coffee, by the time you come back, then you'll probably have your apps open. But then, of course, too, you're not going to want to do this without saving your work. So let's say you're working in Word and then you do this option and you don't save it, then you might be in trouble. And I'm not sure how good of an idea it is to close Windows without closing certain apps because you don't want to risk any corruption there either. All right, here comes Chrome or Edge actually. Then we've got Paint, Notepad. And you see with Notepad, it, op it opened the uh, two files we're working on here. There's Firefox. So we're just waiting on Chrome. And so it took maybe a minute and a half to uh, have them load up, except for Chrome, which is taking its time. All right, so while we're waiting for Chrome, let's look at some of the other options here. All right, let's try the force apps to close, shut down PC, and then prepare it for fast startup. So that was quick, so hard to tell if it closed the apps for sure or not. All right, starting back up. So this time it should not open the apps again. Okay, so that was that option there. So let's see what else we have here. So you'll notice too, these are all shutdown commands. They're not restarting, just shutting down. All right, let's try shutdown PC with warning. 
Okay, so it gives you a warning there. We'll shut down in less than a minute. It does not give you a cancel option though, unfortunately. All right, now we're shutting down. All right, so that's the uh, basics of how this works here. So it may or may not be useful to you. And then if you want to remove it, just double click this, go through the same process. And now when we right click, it's gone. All right, I'll put a link in the description where you can download these two registry files and then you can try it out for yourself. All right, thanks for watching and be sure to subscribe.